Alright, um, I ain't posted nothing for a while, so, um, this is just like a self-help video for targeted individuals or anyone who basically, uh, struggles with, um, confidence. Uh, in these times, uh, there's quite a lot of, um, um, effort being taken by well various groups institutions and um, systems to control our confidence levels um, consumer confidence is a major thing and obviously um, those of you who've done hypnotherapy would know that um, the best way to stimulate uh, or to control someone's suggestible suggestibility is to use fear and greed now the powers that be uh, uh, those who believe themselves to be the powers that be uh, have chosen fear they tried greed it led to uh, stock market crashes and everything people taking out loans that they can't pay and then being dishonest that we are not paying them back and they just expect expecting them to uh, just go away like that but um, uh, in those situations, you have to man up and uh, take the punishment for not paying back. But um, some people just uh, didn't want to pay back or even go bankrupt to, to face the music. Um, but basically, we're talking about taking back control of your confidence. Uh, not leaving it in the hands of, um, well, others. Um, so, I've got this... Um, uh, it's kind of a mantra kind of a statement uh, that helps you do just that so basically um, if you uh, look at what you consider to be a loss yeah uh, obviously no one wants to be considered to be a loser or no one wants to be uh, considered to have lost something so how people feel about you uh, is one of the things that drains your confidence so when you think you've lost something, it drains your confidence. Uh, now, I wanted people to make a distinction between confidence, uh, perceived confidence, and real confidence. Yeah. Um, so we have perceived losses, yeah, and real losses. Now, when um, uh, let's see, when you experience a perceived loss uh, can give you an example this could be um, if you're in a relationship and you um, the relationship ends abruptly and you lose your partner uh, she walks away she goes and meets somebody else or something like that you will think that you've lost something but uh, that's a perceived loss because it's not something that involves any physical um, uh, object uh, being lost by you because obviously you don't own your partner that's your partner it's not something that you own like a dog yeah um, if you was to lose a dog now um, that would be a real loss because that's something that you bought from the pet shop uh, that you have lost but you don't buy your partners from a pet shop so losing a partner is a perceived loss in my in my um, framework so you have a um, uh, the feeling that you have lost when your partner leaves you that's something that drains your confidence so I'm trying to teach people to avoid feeling that they've lost yeah when what they've lost is something that they did not buy yeah if I lost my shoe that's a real loss if I lost um, if if a relationship ended that's not that's a perceived loss because most of the time I'm cheating on these women anyway. No. <laughs> um, so, so when you lose a partner, just go and find another one. You don't own, that's not your property. Yeah. Um, so women were created by God and not by a man. So that's not really your property. Uh, but your shoe, you can say, well, even that's not really your property still, you know, because, you know, all the molecules that make up a shoe, were created by God so that belongs to God as well but basically for argument purposes let's say something that you bought is something that's that's a real loss when you lose it 
um, you lose money, that's a real loss. Uh, but um, to lose out in terms of credibility, that's a perceived loss, yeah? Because now um, uh, your credibility is something that can be manipulated. Yeah, you can consider yourself to be credible um, uh, or incredible, <laughs> yeah? Um, but um, other people might not see it that way. Like uh, if you look at gold, it's a useless piece of metal, but because we believe it to be precious, it's worth something. If one day we all woke up and said, okay, gold is just metal. Why Why should I think that it's worth anything? Then the price of gold will go down. That's, that's the, um, and if, if you have gold and you lose it, that's just a perceived loss because it's, uh, well, that's a real loss, you know, but uh, it's, it's not a loss that uh, should be draining your confidence. It just depends on whether you value something or not. So I'm just trying to let people know that stop valuing things which uh, which uh, affect your confidence. Uh, when you feel a loss over something uh, that um, whose value is subjective, then simply just tell yourself, okay, that's not something that is uh, uh, valuable anymore. You know, and I'm, I do not consider that to be something of value yeah and then your confidence level will jump right back up yeah at the end of the day i'm interested in the individual's well-being so you as an individual will feel better if you don't feel like you've lost yeah never ever tell yourself that you've lost never ever believe that you've lost everything that you've ever lost you can see a way of looking at it and telling yourself nah that's that that doesn't mean anything to me yeah as soon as you say that then all your losses um all your losses are gone yeah so I want you to actually think positively about everything even when it's perceived to be a loss think positively about it you take part in a match or a sports match and your team loses but you perform well you've got you got a win there somewhere try and look at the positive um, aspect of things and um, when you feel confident about yourself um, then you perform better as a human being and you can attract uh, wins rather than losses more um, as perceived by you. So define wins that are attainable yeah, in your situation. If you don't have money, then pff, doing 100 press-ups is a win. <laughs> uh, you can find wins that just be realistic about the targets you set. Yeah, be realistic. Yeah. If you don't have money to take a woman on a cruise, don't act like those people who have money to take women on a cruise. Yeah? Act like someone who's who's in your situation. Identify uh, and define your situation and define your expectations and wins Yeah, accordingly. Yeah? I don't want to see people moping about saying, oh, uh, I feel like I've lost this, I feel like I've lost that. You, I don't want to see people doing that. Yeah? Yeah? Don't um, let society and those who victimize you make you feel like a loser. Yeah? So that's why I say I've never lost in my life. I've, I've, when you know um, <clears throat> the creator, you know that there is no loss. Yeah? Everything you have lost belonged to the creator, never belonged to you in the first place. Yeah? So I've never lost anything in my life. Yeah? Yeah? Because I choose to see everything that would have been perceived as a loss to be meaningless, to have no value, to be worthless. Yeah? Remember that. That's it.